and freedom of the press that we highlighted the idea that there is a special responsibility of the state to protect journalists. And what we said, and, and I put it in my report, is, is that it's not that journalists have different human standards of human rights than anyone else. What the state is protecting is the, fun is the function, is the role of a journalist. The same way that we have with human rights defenders. Human rights defenders should be protected because they are playing a very key role in a public service or a social service in defending human rights and denouncing violations of human rights. And that is essential for the individuals of a society, but for democracy as a whole. And the same thing happens with the press. We said yesterday that the press is one of the fundamental elements to keep society informed so we can all exercise the right to freedom of, of expression, understanding that as access to information, building our right to opinion and expressing that. So freedom of the press is fundamental in any democratic society. So there are two things that I say in my, in my report. Number one is that the press or a journalist has to be defined by its function, not by a title or, 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 or a university degree. This is very important because in many countries, in Italy where I just came again from the uh, there is a, they call it the order of the journalists, which is basically a professional association. And they only consider a professional journalists if you are a member of the order, which is like the bar association of, of, of journalists. This violates the principle of freedom of the press. And there, are, there is jurisprudence on this. The fact is that journalism is the freest of all careers, should be practiced by anyone at any time. Any person, she or he, who wants to organize, observe and organize information, to transfer it in a systematic way to a particular audience, is doing the service of journalism. <coughs> and that can be from a written newspaper to a television station to a blogger or to a community radio, number one. And number two, that the state has the obligation to protect that service and therefore granting a special protection to the journalist. Now, this seems, after hearing the report of, of Gayatri and all the other friends of the cases of impunity, seems that it goes against the grain of what happens. Is the fact is that journalism is one of the most risky professions, especially if you're doing investigative journalism, because you're denouncing corruption, or you're denouncing links with organized crime, or you're denouncing the abuses of power. And therefore, this puts journalists uh, or you're denouncing international corporations like mining companies that contaminate the, the, the atmosphere and the waters. So this, this puts journalists in, in serious danger. So anyway, the conclusion is that all states, and, and we, we talked about the mechanism even in Colombia that has been put in place, all states have an obligation to grant special protection to journalists. And there should be an emergency mechanism for physical protection. There should be legal protection, which is the abolishment of all legal obstacles and, and the protection uh, within the law. This is why we talk about decriminalizing defamation, slander, uh, and other criminal forms of, of harassment, of legal harassment, judiciary harassment of the journalists. And finally, there should be a political element of protection, which is the fact that the higher level position of the government should make statements of how important the role of the press, not defending any media particularly, but how important the role of the free press and media is in a democratic society. And these are elements that we should also use to, to balance. Our position is that most of the cases that of, of violence in the country where you have severe cases of violence, the biggest reason is impunity. Because every single case of a journalist <coughs> not investigated and not prosecuted those responsible is the invitation for many more cases, not one more, but many more to occur. And this is why it's so important to eradicate impunity. And I, I, I think it is very, obviously, very symbolic to have the massacre in the Philippines, which is the biggest collective uh, execution of journalists uh, we have in, in record, um, to be the anniversary of impunity of acts of violence against the press. 
And we also believe that there should be acts of violence against the pressure of a special type of a crime uh, with, with certain more serious elements than any other, other uh, crime of violence. And there should be a special response of the state. This I mention because this is something that should be raised with every uh, government uh, in, in every country that you all come from in, the, in this uh, Asia region. So um, I really am um, very moved by the information I heard and, and, and thank you for the report.